After the fans left and the TV cameras were gone and all the excitement was over is when Maurice Alexander went to work. What was the worst thing to get off on this floor? As you can see, it's still there, the gum. You know, you got your little scraper, and you know, you got to get all that gum up, and it's, it's, it's disgusting. It was 2012. Alexander was a janitor at St. Louis Edward Jones Dome, cleaning up after Rams games and other events. Sweeping, dumping trash to the dumpster. I mean, that's things I had to do, you know. Survived, so I did it. What'd you make per hour? I believe it was 850. 850. Yeah. A standout safety at Utah State. He'd been kicked off the team for punching a teammate in the face. And we were at a party, you know, drinking had been involved. Words were exchanged between me and him. Um, we went outside, I threw a punch. The teammate had severe damage to his face. Alexander served 45 days in jail and had to pay over $20,000 in medical bills. I couldn't afford that, it's a lot of money. I took full responsibility for everything I'd done and what I'd done to him and his family. I was way out of my character you know, and I regret it. He had to move back in with his mom into a rough St. Louis neighborhood. His cousin got him a job as a stadium janitor. Life for Maurice Alexander was not going the direction he planned. Did you have to clean bathrooms? Yeah, I cleaned the bathroom. How was that? You know, it was a little messy in there, so. Did you ever have to do anything with the dumpsters? Yeah, definitely. We used to dump it. We did it like this. This one like that. I used to just go. Alexander needed the money not just to pay down his debt, but to buy online classes. He wanted to go back to Utah State. He worked the evenings. Some days he worked overnight. And he did double shifts. Well, I snuck out here, man. You know, I love football, so, you know, I knew I was going to get back into it, you know, the harder I worked. You still thought you were going to play in the NFL as you're cleaning an NFL stadium. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, that was my dream, so, I mean, you got to stick with it. It worked. By the spring of 2013, he was once again a college athlete. What was it like when you found out Utah State would take you back? I cried. You know, it was it was very emotional. I knew from that point on that I'll, you know, I'll never make a mistake like that again. He repaid them by becoming a tackling machine, a team leader, and eventually a graduate. And that next spring, during the fourth round of the NFL draft, his phone rang. It was Jeff Fisher, head coach of his hometown St. Louis Rams. They told me, you ready to be a Ram? I'm like, I can't believe this, man. I can't believe it. What kind of player is the janitor? The janitor's going to be a good player. He's going to be a good player. So he's not just going to play cleanup? We expect him to be an eventual starter. I got nothing for that. I like that. No. <laughs> Suddenly, he was going places janitors aren't supposed to go. It's literally only a few feet from where you worked out here to where you work now as a St. Louis Ram. What's that feel like? Uh, that's a great feeling, man. You know, it's a dream come true at that. And, uh, you know, I thank God every day. Do your teammates know that you used to sweep up at that stadium they play in? Yeah, you know, some guys think it's crazy. You know, oh, I used to work there, man. You probably used to sweep over there. You know, now you're living the dream. Do you realize what you make now? Yes. <laughs> it's about six hundred fifty dollars an hour. Man, but it's better, better than eight fifty, right? Which only goes to show you, be nice to your stadium janitor. Next year, he might be wearing a completely different uniform. Oh yeah! <laughs> As usual, Rick, a great, great job. Throwback jerseys, Maurice Alexander.